my ball is five feet off the fringe, I putt to a spot two and a half feet past the ball. They, they take their hands back to, not the club, the spot they take their hands back to relative to their body. Like, a, like rungs on a ladder going up their body, pocket, belt, belly button, sternum. Wedges are important. 70% of your scores inside 70 yards. So what we're gonna do is one thing we did the other day, play a par 54, two shots that I pick inside 100 yards, typically inside 75. Could be 30, could be 40, could be 75. And we're gonna hit two shots each from there, and you gotta putt it out. And we made a goal of trying to shoot, I mean, we're trying to shoot trying. 45 or lower. All right, so we have 43 yards. That was a really good aim. Beautiful, go in. Oh, gosh, that almost, that ball mark has to be literally on the hole right there. Get up. Now, this is where this guy is gonna drastically improve. I'd say he's one of the best ball strikers for his age I've ever seen. Hitting him well now, hitting him well. It's just owning his distances, and that's why this is such a great game for him. There you go. Here we go. There we All go. Right. When on putting off fringe, Mason. Of course, you know this is long fringe right now, but if my ball is five feet off the fringe. I putt to a spot two and a half feet past the ball or past so the half. hole. I take half the distance I have, and I add it on, and I move that hole in my mind past it, much like I would with a downhill putt that's breaking. I'll go to the apex of that break, move it towards me to the distance if it were a flat putt that I would hit it, and then gravity takes the rest of the way. Yeah. I do the same thing here, but I put it behind the hole. So I'll, you know, look at this, I go, okay, there's five feet here. I'll look at that spot two and a half feet past exactly on my line, hit that spot. Amazing how that works. Yeah. Okay, really. So you guys both got three on one ball, and this is for the uh, up and down. If you're gonna wear shoes like that, dude, you can't miss putts like that. <laughs> Yep. What we encourage all of our guys to do, you guys, is have a spot that they take their hands back to, not the club, the spot they take their hands back to relative to their body. Like, a, like rungs on a ladder going up their body, pocket, belt, belly button, sternum. And each of those spots represents a distance, given they keep the same rhythm the entire time. Yeah. There we go. Nice, perfect there. We're gonna Fernando, let's see it. Get up. I mean, the motion's perfect there, Fernando. Yeah. It's great, buddy. Just get, you know, just get in our distance, you know? Yeah. Make these putts, guys. Let's see it. Stretch. Means you're slow. Uh, I'm probably going about half a ball out here. That was absolutely striped though. I know. We have 68 yards, uh, pins back right. I don't think we have a ton of green to work with. How about wedge pre-shot routine? Anything specific here? I mean, this is more target practice out there. You're yeah. hitting a general area here. I mean, a specific spot. the main thing I look at, I try not to ever tell myself like, don't miss here. It's always miss here to try and like keep the negative part of it out of my brain. Um, so I see the wind's going right to left. Uh, the left side of the green has a ton of space. The right side of the green, not so much. And then there's a ball off to the right. Short right's a bunker. So I'm, I'm gonna try and aim this at the pin because I know that my miss today has not been right. 
Okay. And everything's leading to it going left, so I'm probably going to take it right at it and hit like a 63 yard shot. Okay. A little downwind, uh, and it should fall to the left. It's pretty nice. Thanks. Pretty nice. Looking good. Love to see that wedge play tight with as long as this guy hits it. Sit down. Set. Okay, it's all right. 68. Again, right to left wind. Same thing he said. I just don't spin it as much. I'm gonna try to just land out at the pin it. Nice flight. Shot. Shot. Uh, go. Okay. Nice. Good. Yeah. The 12 year old rising star and the college star. <laughs> it's it's kind of how it should be at the moment. Yeah. Fernando, Fernando's sitting here looking at me like, nah, dude. This is gonna be changing in the next week here. So what are you guys looking for when you're reading greens? Fernando, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, well, for me, just kind of like looking at the high side, like high side of the green. We teach our guys really to step back, you know, not to read the green from right on top of it. Your eyes don't work as well there. So you'll see a lot of our guys read greens from, they'll take the distance of their putt. For example, he has a 12 foot putt. He's a good 12 feet behind the ball. And he's just back there because when he bends down from back there, he can see the putt more as a whole. When you stand on top of it, you're going to see the last little bit of it and you're not gonna see what happens on that first five, six feet. Oh, he's striped. Here we go, coming back. Need this other one to drop. Mm. I hit that way too hard. It's way too hard, yeah. I'm proud. Loud and proud. I'm proud too. But a, a proud too for Fernando, as he said. Okay, how far? Not bad. 47. Okay. Is it getting better? A shot. Thanks. Really trying to focus you guys in this 40 to 50 yard zone right now. Yeah, I can tell. I know. Just want to see you guys get up and down <laughs> from here every time. Nice shot, buddy. Sit, sit down. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah. I mean, it like, come on, Mason. striping this guy's picking up number here we go i mean that's yeah that's four this, this is a big putt for you fernando get on the board come on now he's four he's four under right now through that's three. six with th yeah through three through three so that's through six opportunities you've four up and downs that's what an elite division one college player should be doing Out of boy. it is Out of boy on the board this ga place not at the US Open. No. I might need to go. Just kidding. Get up. Shots. <laughs> Made up for it. That was a way, oh that seemed like a way more confident swing. A way more confident swing. Just kept the rhythm up on that yeah. one. Yeah, got a little, little green side, short sided. Have to get this over the bunker. Probably like an 18, 20 yard shot. Go up with it. Yeah, man, really looking good. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's the mistake with that shot, bud. Remember, it's more of a body draw than it is in a cut, right? But you know, we're looking at a shot over this bunker, very little green to work with. My father gave me great advice whenever I was hitting a high shot, face open, ball in the front. He always tried to tell me, land it on top of the flag stick. That visual always helped me, especially when I was down low hitting up and I really found myself not slide under it, leaving it short. And when, you know what's funny? Then I would sometimes make the mistake and guess where it would end? land right there and end up being perfect. Yeah. And then other times I'd fly it right, it would be right in front of it. Or even if it was just long, it was fine, so. Stretch, stretch. Wow, game like this, you gotta be getting it there. Mm -hmm. Can make a three footer coming back. There you go. 
Who took his advice though? That's Good. Fair. That sounded really, really good. That was a good. ball up there. There's no way. So our viewers, so you can, so you can see what's nice about this game. This game is pretty simple. What it gets them doing is hitting a lot of shots from inside 75 yards, as we talked about, so some scoring shots, but then they're having to grind a lot of putts, too, a lot of putts from 3 to 10 feet. And these guys are competitive. I set a goal, you know, 45 being 9 under, which is basically getting an up and down every single one out of every two times. Yeah, that, that ball's moving there. I don't know how that goes that way. This is no. 38 yards. 38? Oh. That perception's kind of off there. I'm blind. That was pretty. Yep. Is that long? Yeah, just a little. Not bad, though. Because that was my 32-yard shot. That was, yeah, it was. I think the rangefinder was lying. Nice. Come on, bud. There you go. Like I said, wait a minute. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> dude, that, that's so dunk. Dude. I absolutely love golf right now. That is hilarious. That Kobe, dude. Kobe. That is hilarious, dude. And Matt, wait until Adam hears about that. Yeah.